If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is going over a player that seems to be, if not the best player, one of the top, I'll say even top one or two or three players, right? Considering that we got new AKA players, you know, and we got some other players coming around. Depending on when you see this video, it might be Campus Heroes out. So there might be another better, some other better cards. But we'll say within the first five, depending on when you're watching. I mean, the top five, right? But at this moment, to me, he's going to be the number one because he's going to lead your team. And that's Warren Moon. That's why you guys are all tuning in. Is that why is Warren Moon so good? That's what I want to go over. This, because people are like, oh, I'm going to get this card. Everyone's saying he's good. But why is he so good? I'm going to break all that down in the video. I'm going to go over his card. I'm going to let you guys know why I know that he's good. Because these are abilities and stuff that he gets that I told you guys in previous Maddens that make a card real good. That a lot of people always told me, hey, it don't matter if you have this. It don't matter if you have that. But it kind of does because this is Madden. And in a sense, it, it's Ultimate Team. It's kind of pay to I mean, it is play to play to an extent, right? So there's certain abilities and stuff like that for a reason that makes them great. But I've known this and I've been using the abilities and it makes a difference for me, right? So let's go ahead and, uh, because I don't actually have the card. But I know why he's so good already. And the only reason, I, I know he's he's dropping in price, but I don't want to, he's worth, he was worth that 700 to 800k he was going for. But me personally, I'm not going to spend that much coins on him. But it doesn't mean that I don't know why he's that good. I went over his card. I know why he's good. So therefore, that's why I'm letting you guys know. I'm going to break it down to you guys. And stay tuned to the end because I got some free packs. And I'm also going to show you guys additional cards um, that um, I feel that are great cards. And you can also get for free. So let's go to QBs. And we're going to uh, Titans, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna break. Uh, first, I'm gonna go over his stats, and then I'm gonna go over his abilities. Everything combined is what makes him great. But I think the reason why his stats, uh, the reason why he has good abilities, is because his stats line up with the abilities. If that makes sense. If he has certain stats on his card, that's gonna make his card uh, or his abilities that much better. That's just how it goes. It's stupid to say it that if his card's that good, he shouldn't need abilities. But that's the way he is. I'm gonna go to the one down here just based on the fact that. I don't want no one buying the card as I'm going through it. And because I don't have the abilities, like I can't look at the abilities as I'm looking at this card. I actually got them right here. Uh, big shout out to Mud GG that I'm going to be going over. So I will read you off the tiers. So just pay attention when I do go over the abilities. And I'm going to let you guys know why, um, why I know this card is, is, is so good. I know. And I don't think I know. So check it out. He got 83 speed, which off the top makes him pretty fast that he's going to be able to run around the pocket and make plays happen. Then he gets 88 throw power, right? And then if you get a strategy card, which are very cheap to buy, plus two throw power, he's going to go to 90 throw power, which he's going to be able to launch it as far as he wants to and make plays happen, all right? Then you get short accuracy. His short accuracy is 88 short accuracy. So what that does is uh, those short routes that you guys are throwing, even the ones that look like they're gonna, they're about to be picked off, when he's about to throw that ball and make a play happen, you guys think you're gonna come in and intercept that ball when that ball is gonna go straight to the receiver and make a catch, even to the receivers who can't catch. He's gonna, they're gonna be able to catch it because that 88 short accuracy is gonna make sure that they're gonna be able to grab that bar, um, ball and make a play. Because I know I'm not the only one that's seen it. When I played it up, when I when I played against people, I played against like four or five people with this card already. Where the ball is going to the region, like oh, I got this, going straight to me in my hands. I'm gonna grab it, and and uh, the ball just miraculously enters to the other player's hands, right over me or right on the side of me. Somehow, some way, it gets over me. That's why got good short accuracy from a uh, from a short distance. And then look at the mid. So if you guys want to know why he's able to get those sideline catches now, um, this is part of it. The mid accuracy. As well as another thing I'm going to show you guys in a minute. But that mid-accuracy is what does it. Not many cards got gr uh, great good uh, mid-accuracy. Which he got 85 mid-accuracy. So um, those corner routes. I learned this in Madden 19 actually. Where I realized that when you throw it to a corner route. Like or you use a... a trips uh trips and all that stuff and they go to the corner that's actually a mid throw so when you when you're thinking it's a long throw it's a mid throw so that mid throw he's throwing it to the corner route and he's dotting them every time because he's getting 85 mid accuracy and don't add a strategy card to get some mid accuracy it's going to go up even higher and add that much to it so 
So that's what I'm talking. For those who don't know, it's very pivotal to understand. If you guys want to go for those short corner, they're not even short. They're mid routes. Those corner routes are those trip routes, and you guys going to that one that's closest to the sideline. That's a mid route right there. That's why this card is so good because a lot of use a lot of people use those um, corner routes, uh, which are actual mid routes. All right. Then you get 86 deep on top of that. So basically, all his accuracy are hitting. No matter where you throw it to, he's going to make the play happen. All right. So that's what makes him so great. Then he gets 87 throw on the run. So if this dude's running it on the corner and he's just throwing the ball with the, all these accuracies intact, he's going to make the play happen. So he can stay in the pocket. He can run no matter what he does. That's what makes him a triple threat when it comes to this game because he has all those things intact. Um, this is a big reason I want to make this build because a lot of uh, video, I'm not saying that no one has, I'm pretty sure someone has explained it to an extent, but I wanted to give them a full breakdown because especially if you guys are going to be spinning your coins on this card, I want to make sure that you know why you're spinning it and if it's worth it. Yes, it's worth it. I know there's other QB, there's probably other QBs that are going to come in the game, but he has, he hits up all the thresholds when it comes to the, to the, um, accuracy. And I'm going to show you another thing with the abilities, what makes him even better. All right, so let's go down. He's 6'3 on top of that, so we already know. He's tall, so he's able to get that ball off. He's 221 pounds, which is strong, okay? 84 jumping. He doesn't even need to jump, but he got good jumping on top of that. Ball carrier vision, 87. Break tackle is 82. And throw under pressure is 90. So he's hitting everything where he needs to get. All right, so I'm going to stay on this card, and let me go over here and go through these abilities. First, we'll go through the X Factor. He's going to get Bazooka, Blitz Radar, Brick Wall, Dots, Escape Artist, Gambit, Omaha, Pro Reads, and Running Gun. Okay, out of all these, honestly, what I would go with would be Dots. Why? Because it grants you perfect pass accuracy while, um, <clears throat> while, while when it's activated. So I will go with Dots for now until they get a lot more abilities. Okay, now for the first tier abilities. The first tier ability, just so you guys know, they're all the basics. I'm not going to read them off because he gets all the basic uh, tier one abilities like Energizer, Persist, and Recuperation and stuff like that. So that's out of, out of I'm not even going to go over those. You guys already know what those are. Um, tier two is when it's getting a little bit better. This one, I would actually run on him, right? Because he doesn't get anchor, anchor Extender, Gutsy Scrambler, Lofty Deadeye, Protect It, Quick Draw, Red Zone Deadeye, and Slide of Hand. Out of all those tier two abilities, I will go with Quick Draw because he's able to get the ball off a lot faster. And I know what you guys are saying. I already know what you guys are saying. While he does get Gunslinger and this, this, and this, and everyone's going with Gunslinger, I wouldn't go with Gunslinger because Quick Draw will actually help out a lot. And not just that, what you're... What makes this card real good, the reason why, big reason I'm doing this video, is not only is this guy accuracy is on point, which I showed you guys right on up here, but he gets sideline dead eye. Why do you think Gunslinger is 2 AP and sideline dead eye is 3 AP? Because that sideline dead eye is deadly. That's why it's called dead eye. Because any sideline throws, it's gonna be perfect accuracy. He's gonna throw, no matter where he throws at, he's going to make those plays insane. It's going to make you happy like you're just celebrating Christmas. I'm telling you guys that right now. I've used Sideline Deadeye and I use Inside Deadeye for the past several years. It's the best ability in the game when it comes to the QBs. I don't care about the stats. The stats are great. He got the great stats, which is a big plus. But the sideline dead eye, inside dead eye is so OP. And I've told you guys that. Go look at my, my videos in another Madden. You're going to see every time a QB got sideline and inside dead eye, I would max out my QB. Even if my QB is the only one with abilities, I would max them out with the sideline inside dead eye because I know how OP are. are. That's what makes his QB so great is not only his attributes are great, but his abilities, specifically the sideline dead eye. And for those who want gunslinger, go ahead and go with gunslinger. But I what I would run is quick draw, sideline dead eye, um, sideline dead eye. And if you're able to find someone with one AP uh, identifier, like a lineman, then I will go with that. But that's what I would run. I'm not going to pick him up right now because... He's a lot of coins. He's not a cowboy, so I'm going to go ahead and wait. I save a lot of my coins for cowboys, but for whoever's a Titans fan, I guarantee you if this guy was a cowboy, he would have been on the squad already. I love this card. It just, I don't want to invest the coins into it because I'm very stingy with my coins and I got to save them uh, for my cowboy theme team. That's why, but honestly though, that's why that card is the best card in the game because his attributes are great. He gets sideline dead eye for 3 AP, quick draw for 2 AP, at 5 AP, you have 1 AP left, and then you go ahead and put dots on him as his X factor, and he's he's vicious. That's what I will go with, that's why he's so great, and I'm, that's why I made this video, because 
a lot of you guys are saying he's good a lot of people are look how good he is he's doing this and this but i want to tell you guys why he's good so if you guys do invest in coins in it at least you guys know why and what you're doing and also if there's another qb that comes out with those attributes and abilities and they're cheaper you know you can go ahead and get rid of him and pick up the other qb because he will operate the same way but anyways there it is there any questions people in the comment section till next time i'm out